You would have seen the um, video I released on uh, five surf photography hacks that I use. Now these are just general little tips that I've picked up while I've been out in the water. Um, I'm just going to explain all five of them. I actually left one out, so I'll, I'll let you know that one at the end. Yeah, so you use candle wax and that just sheds the water off, off your um, lens port while you shoot. It lasts for about 40 minutes. I've used car wax before, that didn't work very well. Um, I've used, you can use a squeegee, I use my wetsuit sleeve also just to get rid of the drops. So yeah, that, that's pretty much self-explanatory, that one. The second hack that I did was split shots. Now, I mean, that's not really a hack, it's just using a different lens port to get the up, the under, over shot. Um, so that's one, that one's pretty self-explanatory. The third hack was the camera setting. So I've been using uh, one two hundredth of a set, one two thousandth of a second a lot of the time. And f5.6 gets me super sharp images. Um, depending on the light, I'd, I'd change my ISO. So that's what the settings I've been used at, using at the moment. I mean, you can use whatever settings you want. I mean, that's what, you know, differs photographers um, from other photographers. But what I just want to say is, I mean, I could probably increase my shutter speed if it's really bright. Um, but yeah, I mean, that just depends on the conditional. So that one's um, subjective, to say the least. Um, number four was the GoPro mount. So the mouth mount, um, that's, I just wanted to explain that one because I used the backdoor floaty to bite on. And the thing about that one is, you can get mouth mounts that GoPro make that you just put on the bottom and bite on, but then you can't mount it at the same time. So the beauty about the floaty backdoor mouth mount is that you can bite on it, use it, and then when I'm out in the water, I can also just clip it onto my camera or clip it onto your surfboard. That way you get two camera angles while you're out in the water. The, the fifth one was the water droplets on the lens. It gives you like a dreamy feel. Now, I was gonna use that one my camera, the battery died on the Canon, the small Canon camera. So this is on the GoPro. So what I just wanted, what I just wanted to say with the fifth uh, camera hack or surf photography camera hack is that with the water droplets on the lens, that gives you a nice dreamy feel. But the fifth one or the sixth uh, hack that I left out was actually shooting split shots with a, a longer lens. Just go underneath the water and you get a half blurred out image and then the, the, you get half of the bottom of the image sort of blurred out with the water and then the the subject that's in focus is not nicely you know perfectly in focus and so it creates a real sort of gradient sort of blurring effect which can also look dreamy so here's an example of that um, yeah so those are the basically the five hacks explained um, thanks for watching this video um, I'm about to head out at snapper so yeah be sure to check out that vlog and yeah maybe I'll see you out in the water one day cheers